Yes, it's finally girls' night. Sweet movies, ladies. Mia's bro wants to take a pic. Quick, pose! Hey, wait! I want to be in the shot, too! Oh, that's not good. Excuse me, guys! Little lady coming through. Amy, get in the shot! Oh, now we have the opposite problem. You can't even see Amy's pretty blue eyes. She does not look happy. Well, A for effort, I guess. So I really need a couple new pieces for my vacation coming up. Hey, check out these awesome colors! This is perfect! Yes, let's go try these suckers on, shall we? Whoa, Amy is feeling herself in this red number. Yowza, girl! You're looking fabulous! But where did all that wind come from? How about your outfit, Sophia? <sighs> surprise, surprise, this dress is made for a much taller gal than me. And that's why so many short girls resort to shopping in the kids' section. I'll take one of each, please. Oh, hey! Aw, Sophia, you're just so cute! You're just a pint-sized little lady, aren't you? Yes, you are! Yes, I'm small and cute. I get it. Jeez. Ever get in the car and realize you're too short to drive it? Sophia has felt this way once or twice. Ugh. A pillow should help. Okay, so far so good. But all this scooting and sliding around isn't good for driving. Oh man. Okay, this better work. Yeah, now we're talking. Ooh, being able to reach the pedals is kind of necessary for driving. Aw, don't cry, Sophia. You still have time to catch the bus. But when Amy gets in the car, it's a whole other story. Oh man, who'd they make this car for, ants? I can barely even sit up straight. Oh yeah, that's definitely not a good look. Wait a second, this car has a sunroof! Ugh, sweet relief. Hey, how's the weather up there, Amy? Catch it on the flip. Ugh, math is so boring. I wish I was on vacation instead. <sighs> Please don't make me answer any questions. Ever use hair curtains to get out of sticky situations? The teacher can't even tell Lily's sleeping in there. Nice! Looks like long hair does more than look pretty. It's like an invisibility cloak. Ugh, what a miss! Oh shoot, I slept through the whole lecture. Short-haired girls can't quite get away with the old hair curtains trick. Uh-oh. Vicky! Psst, wake up! Vicky, this isn't your bedroom. Wake up! Ugh, sorry! Ugh, why did I ever cut my hair? Wow, look at that corkscrew curl. You think it holds magical powers? Wow! How do you get it to look so full like that? What are we, at the hair salon? If you have pretty curls, chances are you've had to deal with people wanting to touch them. Like, a lot of people. Seriously, Emily? Okay, that's it. Just because my hair is curly and beautiful doesn't mean you should put your grubby hands all up on it. Out at a party, dancing by yourself is the most awkward thing ever. But when no one's watching, your living room becomes an exclusive dance-only zone. 
Isn't it funny that dancing in a crowded room full of people is only half as fun as dancing alone? At least no one here will judge moves like these. Luckily, you have that drink to awkwardly cling on to. Would it be really the end of the world if you did these crazy moves out on the dance floor? Ooh, definitely don't do that one. It's okay, Olivia, your secret moves are safe with us. It's a Saturday night, and this gal is going out on the town. Dang, Emily, you look sensational. But you already know that. Ah, a Saturday night with nothing to do. In other words, it's time for sweatpants, cuddly pillows, and stalking your ex on Instagram. Oh, hey! <laughs> Almost sneezed. That was really close. I'm coming! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you'd better wear a helmet next time, girl. You may want to rethink having all those houseplants, Emily. Seems like your allergies are in full bloom. A lot of people keep their homes nice and tidy. And no matter what it is, there's always a place for it. And this is where Emily's backpack lives when she's not using it. Tuck in those straps. And getting undressed after a long day is somewhat of a ritual. Each piece is handled with care. You'd never just throw an expensive sweater on the floor, would you? You're not a barbarian, after all. All right, up on the rack you go. Wow, so organized. Even the zipper is handled carefully as not to create any wrinkles. Nice and smooth. Just the way it should be. And your dirty t-shirt is quickly replaced with a super clean, comfy one. Very nice. And you wouldn't dream of leaving your dirty clothes out like an animal. Each piece gets folded nicely and placed into a drawer. Wow, you really take that folding business seriously, Em. Well, if you want to keep your things nice, you've got to take good care of them, right? Every normal person knows that. Oops, don't forget about those jeans. Make sure to fold them the right way so that they fit in the drawer with your other pairs. There you go. See, they fit perfectly in there. Me. But when you come home after a long day, keeping organized is the last thing on your mind. Ugh, my head is stuck. I just gotta rip this thing off of me. Must. Get. Off. Losing. Oxygen. Come on, get off me! Phew, that was scary in there for a second. People like you usually like to take those pants off almost immediately. Let that belly breathe. Alright, the shoes are off and we're ready to go. Honestly, why go through the effort of taking your pants off when you can just pull them down a little? For people like this, taking off your clothes is just part of the journey of getting to the couch. Volume up, please. There we go. Ah, being me doesn't seem so bad right now. That's for sure. Watching a TV show. Normal people. There's nothing like curling up in bed with your favorite TV show after a long day. It's getting late, so maybe just one more episode tonight? I can watch another episode tomorrow. Yes, it's starting. I've been waiting to watch this episode all day! Oh, I love that girl's hair. She's so cute. Man, I'm getting pretty sleepy. Maybe I ought to go to bed. Oh, it's already 11? I definitely should turn this off. Way to have willpower, Olivia. All right, off to sleep I go. I've got a big day tomorrow anyway. Nighty night, Olivia. Me. But for other people, watching Netflix in bed can be a slippery slope. Okay, I'm just going to watch one episode. I have to get up pretty early in the morning. And play. Man, this show has so many levels. I can't look away. Hey, got enough snacks there? Oh, so it looks like we're starting another episode, are we? Uh-oh, you sure you should be eating all that sugar right before bed? Whoa, look how late it is! I'd better chug this diet soda so I can stay awake for another episode. What? Don't go in there! Oh man, this show is stressing me out. I better eat some more. Okay, I have watched six episodes. I should probably go to sleep now. No, I can probably last through one more, right? 
Olivia has fallen victim to yet another all-night binger. Poor thing's gonna need a caffeine IV drip tomorrow.